It's that time of year again, personal tax filing season. Hi, my name is Alan Madden, your trusted accountant. Today, I will reveal the top four best tax saving strategies to help you file your personal tax return this year and save money. Tax tip number one, maximize personal tax credits. The first tip is to make sure that you take full advantage of all of the personal tax credits that you may be eligible for. There are a wide range of both federal and provincial credits that you may qualify for, such as credits for disability, tuition, children's fitness or arts, first time home buyer, family caregiver amount, and medical expenses. While these can seem minimal by itself, they can add up to a substantial amount. Tax tip number two, file a tax return even if you have low or zero income. Many people with low or zero income assume that they don't have to file a tax return. This is a big mistake and can lead to thousands of dollars of lost benefits and credits. This includes, for example, the Canada Child Tax Benefit and the GST and HST credit, which can only be received if a tax return is filed in the first place. Additionally, low-income groups like teenagers should consider filing a tax return in any case. This will create RRSP room, which can be used in the future for tax deductions and retirement savings. Tax tip number three, ensure that you report all of your T-slips. It's essential to report all of your T-slips on your personal tax return. This includes T3s, T4s, and T5s. If you fail to report your income in the current year, as well as in any of the three previous years, the CRA will hit you with what's known as the Repeated Failure to Report Income Penalty. This penalty is equal to 20% of the amount that you failed to report in the current year. Tax tip number four, transferring unused credits. If your spouse or common law partner cannot claim all of their federal tax credits, you can claim the unused portion. The unused credits that can be transferred to your spouse include tuition fees, education and textbook credit, pension credit, disability tax credit, and the age credit. However, you cannot claim these credits if you were separated at the end of the year. Lastly, make sure you file your tax return on time this year. The deadline is April 30th. However, if you or your spouse are self-employed, then the deadline is extended to June 15th. If you have taxes due, late filing will trigger a penalty of 5% on the balance that you owe. Thanks for watching. Please like comment and subscribe. It helps me produce better videos for you. Also, get access to my free report, 20 Tax Secrets on How to Beat the Tax Ban, the link for which is shown at the end of this video. See you next time.